seven years. You guys had such a great run. All those Pacers, Knicks series, and uh, all the history that was made at Market Square Arena and Madison Square Garden. What's the one thing that sticks out between Pacers, Knicks? Um, I guess it's a lot of things, but uh, you know, it, I guess back then you could be more physical, and just the physical play that we had when we played against the Knicks. So I mean, uh, I don't know how many flagrant fouls it would <laughs> it would have been, you know, if we had it back then, but. Uh, it's the, the physicality of the game and when we played those guys, uh, you know, it was some great series. When Reggie and Spike were getting into it, I mean, what, what did you guys think as teammates? I mean, <laughs> did you encourage Reggie to do that or, or was, was that something he did on his own? Well, we knew that uh, Reggie thrived off, you know, motivations like that, you know, and, uh, you know, he certainly was able to back it up, you know, uh, and to see him out there uh, doing his thing, uh, you know, it was, it was great to be a part of. So, yeah, we, I definitely encouraged it. You guys had knocked on the door. Eastern Conference Finals five times, finally knocked the door down. Larry Bird's your head coach in the 99-2000 season, and you go to play the Lakers in the finals. First thing, Derek, what was it like to be coached by Larry Bird when you guys had played against Larry Bird? Um, I, don't, I don't know what to say to that. You know, I, <laughs> uh, you know I, I enjoyed the competition. I enjoyed playing against him. And, uh, you know, I was one of those guys who did get it did have a chance to play against him and, uh, and then being coached by him, uh, you know, uh, he's a player's coach, so obviously most guys who do play and end up being coach, coaches, uh, you tend to have a better relationship with those guys, and I think we all did. Yeah, I think back to, to what, 1991 when Chuck Person was a part of the team, and, and you guys played Larry in yeah. uh, one of the playoff rounds, right? We did, yeah, one of our first playoff rounds, I believe, yeah. And, and what was that like for you, Rick? You had played yeah. against him, you knew he was a legend from Indiana, and now all of a sudden he's never coached, and he's your head coach. Yeah, you know, I was very curious to see what it was going to be like, and it ended up being nothing like I expected. You know, I expected him, I guess, to be more like Larry Brown and teach us stuff, which you know wasn't the case. You know, he came in and said, "Hey, you guys are in the NBA for a reason. You know how to play. I'm going to make sure you're in the best shape of your life." And he did, man. He 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 worked us out hard every every single practice. And then you know he hired two great coaches in, in Dick Harder and Rick Carlisle, and they did most of the coaching. You know, uh, Rick did all the offensive stuff for us, and Dick all the defensive stuff. You know, and Larry just, uh, as I said, he just worked us out. You know, more than I've ever been worked out before. But we were in shape, really good shape. So many uh, things we could talk about. We don't have very much time here, but uh, Reggie Miller being honored tonight with a bobblehead. These two guys are part of some great Pacers teams back in the 1990s, Rick Smits and Derek McKee.